Good morning, people. I just landed in your town. Welcome to the podcast that got hurt doing the safety dance. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag, Hashtag just, just saying. saying. You know. Safety dance. Your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, they're no friends of mine. Mine either. <laughs> I'm like, Sean Creeps in. Not mine either. Get them out of here. They're not invited to the party. Get them out. Security. Security. <laughs> Colson, get him out of here. Bounce these fools. Hey. Bounce them. Oh my gosh. Bounce them like a gummy bear. <laughs> <laughs> I had a messed up day today. Mm-hmm. Messed up day today. Now, I got a letter last night, and now I can't hear anything. Because that's how life is. <laughs> I, got, I'm, I don't even care. I got a letter last night. You got a letter, and you got a letter, and you got a letter. I got a... <laughs> from the DMV, of all people. The DMV informed me. <laughs> it's, it almost Not sounds... Not the BBD. It, well, it almost, ABC. Now it almost sounds like a Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> I got mean? a letter from the DMV. The DMV informed me. The cat in the hat <laughs> sat... With a rat. <laughs> and he killed it with a bat. Aw. Aw. Squish. <laughs> so I got, I got a letter from the DMV and they said there was a discrepancy somewhere between the Social Security Administration and the DMV. And they said I needed to straighten it out on an ASAP level because uh, something was going to happen with my registration. And my license uh, will be up for renewal as well, and I would not be able to renew my license. So I went, well... The DMV knows how to ruin your life. Oh, God! They really do! Mm -hmm. They do! It said well in the movie, like, um, License to Drive. License to Drive? It wasn't fuck with the department of motor vehicles. Oh, dear. (laughs) <laughs> you don't. You don't. And We can make your life a living hell. They really can. <laughs> They're not playing around at the DMV. At all. <laughs> so They don't know what fun is. So I showed the letter to Jay. Because he's my legal consultant. And he wiped the bum with it. <laughs> so, no, I showed the letter to Jay and he goes, and he reads it. And then he puts it down on the table and he calmly looks at me and goes, We're going to take care of this, right? <laughs> Because my husband knows me, and he knows I'll just put it right back in the envelope and put it on a pile and not give a fuck about it. So that's a big pile. It's my my don't give a fuck pile is overflowing. I my bet. my cup runneth over. It looks like fan mail. Oh, I wish. I wish. I yeah. People wrote in those. <laughs> they write. They just don't write email. Um. So. I, I said, okay, I guess I'm going to have to figure out at some point when I need to fix this. And he said, I think you should call in and fix it tomorrow. And I said, I, I'm not that person. Like, I don't like, like, I don't want to put you on the spot. I'm not that person who likes to just call into work. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was. If I got the time to cover me, I got no problem. <laughs> I was so trying to like. Not do that to you because I didn't want to like shine a spotlight on you. Got to text my coworker and say, "Put me down for a vacation day." And that's <laughs> it. And I am golden. <laughs> no questions asked. No problems. No nothing. Fair enough. Then I'm home. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, I just don't like calling in. I, I mean, like if I get up out of bed, I'm going to work. So I like. You were told that when you were little. Yeah, my grandfather was like, hey, "You can get out, you can go to work. Get out of bed, go to work." He had that immigrant floor. He had that immigrant mentality, where it's like, "Work till you're dead. Get up, go to work. Get out, dead. You can sleep when you're dead." Yeah. 
So... Plenty of time to rest then. Yeah. Get up. Somebody's waiting for you to start your job. Go. Okay. No. I'm sorry. Go, go oh, Grandpa. I'm sorry. So I was... I kind of like protested a little bit and Jay goes, listen. He said, if something happens and this goes sideways, like... I mean, this is like your license and everything. He goes, you really don't want to mess with this. So I said, okay. I got up. Yeah, I said, all right. So I got up and I, I called in the work. Now, I don't have, and this is like probably the best thing about it, is I don't have a specific person I need to talk to. Hey. I call, a hot, I call the hotline. <laughs> I call the hotline. 976. <laughs> I call the hotline and I kiss call my them. Ass. I ain't coming kiss to work today. One eight hundred. Kiss my ass, <laughs> Doctor Summeroff. Um, I, I just and I just leave a quick message. Now last night, now here's the thing. I'm I am also that person. I hate voicemail and and leaving voicemails and leaving messages for people because I get like, oh my god, what do I say? Yeah, like so I plan it out in my head. Hello. <laughs> Are you there? No, wait. Hello? No, well, I get, I have, like, social anxiety, so for me to call and be like, uh, hey, blah, buddy. Blah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> hey, pal, looking really good today, buddy, looking real good. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know what to do. Guess so what? <laughs> so I had a, a speech all planned out in my head. I said, I'm going to say this. And you're I'm running for president. Yes. I mean, the American people need the truth. So I was going to call up and I was going to say the whole story. I said, I'm going to call up and I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to be like, yeah, I got a little, a little phlegm. I got a little touch of tummy-itis. Got a little problem. Oh, Me, yeah. My toilet and I are best friends today. I got the runs. I got a rash. <laughs> I don't know. You want to see it? Something's flaring up. I can't come in. So, <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to be honest because it's the easiest thing to do. And it's not like this is like, you know, oh, I'm just like, like I'm not calling in to, to screw around at the beach. Like, I have to fix this problem. I have no idea how long this problem is going to take to fix. So, I call up. I had it all planned out in my head. When the time came and the beep hit, for me to leave my message that I won't be in. This is what I said. Instead of my big long speech, the DMV, social security, I gotta fix it, but my license, da, 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 da. I said, I won't be into work because of unusual circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> that is the message that I left. Hmm. I have unusual hmm. circumstances. Explain later. I, I was gonna say that. And like, I'll just explain later. But I was like, See you Monday. <laughs> like, what more do you want from me? And so... You can't leave messages. Yeah. I end up doing it like six to eight times at least. <laughs> because I'm satisfied with the way I say it. Yeah. I'm always pressing that two to re-record. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. So I said, okay. And I hung up and I went back to bed for a little while. <laughs> so Jay woke up and he rolled over and looked at me and he goes, oh, You're here! <laughs> because when he went to bed it was still up in the air as to whether or not I was going to work mm -hmm. so I said yeah I'm here and he goes good I said, get that thing fixed I said I'm gonna I'm gonna hey, wait why are you here <laughs> a little moist sex <laughs> I don't have time for sex sex okay sex <laughs> Get on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just lost sound. I'm sorry. I'll try to fix you. How's that? Uh, nope. Oh, Jesus, Sean. You're killing me here. So, anyway, I'm not going to... Oh, that made it worse. <laughs> that made it worse? How'd that make it worse? Oh. Nothing? You got Nothing? Well, let's just keep going. <laughs> I don't know what to do for you. You can keep fiddling with it if you like. <sighs> so More technical difficulties. All right, so 
I'm not, I, I mean, I was down, I, my first stop had to be the Social Security office because I said, I guarantee that's, wow, now I'm wild. I said, I guarantee that's, that's where the um, discrepancy is. So I went to Social Security and I was there for like mm. 45 minutes to an hour Whoa. waiting. And they get you so jacked up. The woman calls my number. I was there for like a half an hour. She calls my number. <laughs> I go running to her window. <laughs> and by the way, I have in a manila envelope my entire life. Mm -hmm. I brought a passport, my birth certificate, my marriage certificate, because you never know what they're going to ask for. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what the problem was. So I brought everything. Good for you. Uh, yeah, I was prepared as F. <laughs> so she calls me up to the window so I can run it up and she's like, what's the problem today? And I said, um, yeah, I got this weird ass letter from the DMV and I showed her the letter and she goes, oh, she said, well, I'm just trying to figure out like what people's problems are. She's like, so we know where to direct you. She's like, someone's going to call your name in a little while. And I went, really? Like direct the problems. I was like, this is my problem. This may be calling to work today. So I said, okay. So I went and sat back down for another, I don't know, 20 to 40 minutes. And they finally called my name. So I go up and the woman's like, you got a letter? And like, they took me out of number sequence and actually said over the loudspeaker, we'll take number 496 out of number sequence. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck is happening? It was so weird. I was going to ask you if you had that long Beetlejuice number. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, I got called oh, out of... Oh, Hey! <laughs> so, I got, I got called out of, out, of number, out of number sequence. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. And I go up to the window, and uh, she goes, What is this I hear about you getting a letter? And I went, ooh, we talk back there, don't we? <laughs> we talk? So I take out the letter, I show her the letter. So she goes, she looks at me and she goes, oh, DMV. And I went, that's how I feel about the DMV too. I was like, I feel good that you feel the same way about the DMV that I do. And she goes, okay. Plus it's good that she so knows she, about the situation. Yeah. Well, I, I couldn't, I don't know if I'm the first person this has ever happened to. So she click, 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 types my name in and she goes, I just need to confirm what's your name, da da da, maiden, your mother's maiden name, your father's name, da da da. So I tell her all the info, and I'm like, okay. My dad's Michael Keaton. <laughs> <laughs> I said, and then she needed my driver's license, so I show her that, and she goes, okay. She goes, well, she said, here's the thing, and I said, okay, and she goes, at the DMV, they have my middle name, they don't have my middle name, they have it as the letter, is L. And at the Social Security office, they have it as... My middle name is Lynn. I'm not going to fuck around. So at, at the DMV, they have it as L. At the Social Security office, they had it as Lynn. And she goes, that's all. <laughs> and I said, I took the day off from work. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking and she, of a huge... And she goes... Huge problem. And she goes, yeah? And I said... <laughs> Can you give yeah. me a note? Yeah. And she goes, well... <laughs> like that was it she's like that's the only difference that I can see she's like that's all and I said they sent me this letter like this scaring you and Jay yeah this little threatening semi threatening letter from the DMV cause they're like you can't renew your registration you can't do this you can't do that until you then. can't do that at night and you can't do this during the day facts <laughs> <laughs> and they're like this is what it is and I was like I said all that because they had it as a letter and not the full name. <clears throat> and she goes, yeah. They could have called you and asked you. <laughs> or at least asked you to come in and just change it. Or change it online. So she goes, here's what I'm going to do. She goes, well, I'm going to verify that that's the issue. So she walks away and comes back and she goes, yep. She said, um, I'm just going to change it to match the DMV. And I said, Whoa. <laughs> I said, is my middle name just going to be a letter now? 
I was like, because I don't want that. I, I don't want a letter. I was like, if it's going to be a letter, we can make it a cool letter, like X. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, Extreme. yeah, it was X. <laughs> and she goes, no. And she goes, let me tell you something. And she goes, and I'm like, okay. And she goes, you know the thing that really matters in life? You know what really grinds like, my gears. And I was like, no, please tell me what really matters in life. And she goes, <laughs> your birthday and your social security. Mm-hmm. She goes, those are the only two things that matter. She goes, everything else is just fluff. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> fluff. So I said, okay. I said, I just find it weird because I've been married for five years and this is a problem now. Yeah. And she said it took him five years to figure out. <laughs> wow. I said, okay. We know all time. Yeah. I said, all righty. So she goes, I'm, I'm going to fix it to match the letter. She goes, <clears throat> you can write your, your middle name out. You can leave it as a letter. She's like, it doesn't matter. She goes, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. She said, as long as your birthday and your social security. She said, and at the social security office, she goes, we we have a, a thing of every single change we ever make in your life. She said, so you could easily come in and they'll say, oh, you went from Lynn to L or L to Lynn or whatever. She said, it will always be on record. She goes, I have your maiden name here. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. good. <laughs> I said, I think good, I might. I'll still use it. I was like, I was going to say, I think I might like to go back to that, please. <laughs> I'm tired of this last name. <laughs> it doesn't get me anywhere in life. It's that beautiful name, this name. But... Not as if my other name did. <laughs> so... She's like, yeah, I'm just going to change it. It'll match the DMV. And I said... Your other name had a child's book published. It did. So she goes... And I said, am I going to have to like go to the DMV and talk to them and see that it's... Fi- tell them it's fixed and stuff? And she goes, oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, really? And she goes, yeah. She said, they will actually get the update. And- actually. Actually. They will actually get the update in 24 hours. Hmm. I said, okay. She said, you don't have to go there. She goes, if you want to, you can. She's like, but it'll just be a waste of time. Hmm. And I said, well, this has kind of been a waste of my time. So <clears throat> it's uh, kind well, of... was. Yeah, it's kind of on par today. You were able to get the lawn mowed before it rained. I was. So she, she goes, you're going to be getting a new Social Security card in the mail. I'm like, why? <laughs> she said, because we made a change. Every time they make a change, they send you a new card. I said, okay. I'll look for that then. <laughs> she said, and I'm going to print out for you that we fixed it so that you'll have it as a paper record in case the DMV tries to give you a hard time. And they probably will. I said, that's what exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't want any hassle for anything, so give me the paper. Give me whatever you can give me. <laughs> a seal, a medal, whatever you got. Nope. I'll take it. A little mommy's note. Pay coverage for what? Losing? <laughs> I know. So, so I finished that up, and then I said, it was a day, like, of just doing stupid errands that, so I said, um, I needed a new inspection sticker because it, it expired in May. Mm. I was on vacation, y'all. I, <laughs> I'm not going to get an inspection sticker in another state. Well, I can't. you get an extra month. Yeah. And next year, if you wait until July 1st, then you have another whole month. Ooh. That's what I do. <laughs> Do you just keep knocking it a month? Yes. <laughs> Every year. That's funny. <laughs> what? I don't like, wait like an extra week. I wait within like within four days of the next month. Really? Then I go for it because I'll give me another month. <laughs> Look at Sean scamming the inspection sticker company. Yeah, you're going to rip $30 off of me? Take that. Does it cost 30 I paid 35 well, I guess it's 35 now. <laughs> I guess it's 35 now. Sean goes for that. I'm waiting 10 extra days. Yeah. <laughs> I will. And I was paranoid about it, too, because I'm like, I'm going to be that jerk who gets pulled over on the highway because my inspection stick is old. Mm. State police will look, look for that. Yeah, state police doesn't like me. <laughs> they don't like me at all. <clears throat> so I went and I had the... The inspection stick had done. So my car is parked adjacent to the little garage. There's a guy down the street from me who does it. 
So he's parked adjacent to to the garage, and I went. It's like connected to a convenience store. Mm-hmm. So I went in the convenience store. Is that convenient? It, it, kinda, I guess. <laughs> so I went in. I got uh, an inspection sticker and gum. So I <laughs> inspect me, and I want big red. <laughs> so and a beverage. And a beverage. Who doesn't? Mm. So I, that's when I found out it was thirty-five. I'm like, well, that seems expensive. I'm but Ecto Cooler, you're drinking. Sean's drinking Ecto Cooler. Everybody, you can't really see it. We don't have the uh, original lights on in here. We're using daylight. We're the on. Window. We're on daylight savings time. Yeah. <laughs> we actually have some sunlight. Yeah. So we're using it. So I bought the the thing, and then I went, and I parked my car adjacent to the thing, and this guy comes out of nowhere, pulls right up to the garage, and I walked over and I was like, "What's up?" What's up? And he thought I worked there, and he's like, "I'm here for an inspection sticker." I said, "That's nice." So am I. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I wanted to see where it goes. So I said, that's nice. And he kind of looked at me and I was like, okay. <laughs> like, we just we just shared awkward eye contact for a little while. And then he goes, where do I go? And I was like, well, you can put your car next to mine because I'm waiting first. And he goes, oh. And then he, then he goes, you should pull your car right up to the thing because I, you know, I didn't know, blah, blah. And I was like, I'm not going to block this guy's garage Mm -hmm. because you're an idiot yeah prick (laughs) (laughs) you prick face (laughs) gosh so yeah that went off without a hitch then i came home and mowed the lawn yeah you did apparently i got it in just under the wire we had a nasty thunderstorm today nasty yeah it's pouring pretty good Oh, yeah, it was. Now the sun's out, and it's not doing anything. Well, because Massachusetts, it's schizophrenic. Yeah. It's like, we had we had rain. It's like, been like Seattle. All, right it's been like Seattle. We had rain all week last week. Mm-hmm. There was like barely a day where it wasn't raining. And it's soon been... we're going to have a couple of days of 90 degree weather. Oh. Then it's going to drop down in the 70s for like the next four days after that. Oh my gosh. Yes. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It's going to be about 90. I'll be at work. I'm okay <laughs> with it. This, my, my, uh, my office has nice AC. The only pain about it is that the vent is, like, right above my head. So I'm on constant, I'm getting constantly blown. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you lucky? <laughs> constantly at work. Yeah, it's very distracting. I don't know how I get anything done. <laughs> How do you get things done? Beats me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, there's that. Now, I forgot to tell you, last week, um, I was on vacation. And now I'm not, and I'm sad. <laughs> I miss it. I do! <laughs> All vacation does is reaffirm the fact that I don't want to go into work. I want to work there again. <laughs> it's not, you know, I mean, it's... Right now, I'll just be happy to have a week off. Oh, man. So just taking a day off here and there? I, oh, I want a week off. Uh, yeah, well, let me tell you. You don't want to go back after a week. No. So... <laughs> you leave work on Friday. You're excited that you're off for a week. Before you blink or you know it, it's already Wednesday. And then before you cough or sneeze or fart, it's all right. It's all right, Sunday night and you're getting ready to go back to work Monday. Before any other bodily functions can happen, <laughs> it's time to go back to work. What the hell? I don't know. It goes by so quick. So, it no, it's just like, after I came back, I don't know what happened while I was gone. But I came back to work and it was like the office had a completely different vibe. Hmm. And now it's just a vibe of like, grr. <laughs> like everybody's like something like, happened while you were gone. I feel like something did. Like something happened, and everybody's just a secret meeting happened. <laughs> <laughs> they waited till you were gone. They have it. Of course. Why wouldn't they? I didn't get a text. Didn't get an email. Nothing. Nope, that's deliberate. Exactly. So I was like. I just came back, and it was just so tense. And 
it's just not a comfortable that's not a, like a comfortable feeling to have while you're at work no like everybody like <laughs> so i don't know i've been Awkward. i've yeah i've been very disenchanted in the last <laughs> little ahead. while yeah. yeah but you know what all that Why? does that's right <laughs> all that i will tell you <laughs> yay all that does is make me like okay what else can i do you know <laughs> We're gonna just gonna put my application and get the hell out of here. <laughs> I didn't like the first one. So no, I, don't just, like it. I don't like it at all. It's not that I'm like I don't know. I don't want to paint it like oh I'm gonna quit because I. You're too legit to quit. I'm too legit to quit. Hammer don't hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> How many people are gonna get that reference? They want an hour age yeah, category. Yeah, this is true. Hammer to the jet. You remember when he tried to do like... <clears throat> British Nice commercials? No! Me although, yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> remember when he tried to do... Uh, recently? Like, no, 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 not recently. Oh. He tried to do... I don't want to say he tried to be like gangster rap, but he tried to like reinvent himself, mm -hmm. and he did that humps in a bump thing. Yeah. And he had like the hoodie thing like and the... one of the two biggest hits <laughs> of the album. And like the bumps in the bump, yeah, whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> and he had the 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 hat and the hoodie and the like the Timberland shoes and stuff. And I just went, no, oh, no, no, this doesn't work for you. No, who told you that was a good idea? <laughs> Fire them. Get your I money mean. back. <laughs> Get your money back. Get it back. Yeah, he needs it now. Yeah, well, <clears throat> I just saw him in a commercial. Yeah, this was some, something that hangs pictures or something on the way, on the wall. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It uh, make any marks on the wall? Yeah, I forget what the heck that that's called, and I wouldn't give him a free plug anyway. <laughs> but um, no, no, no. You got a hammer for that? What do you need a hammer? <clears throat> you don't need a hammer. <laughs> that's probably why they hired him. I'm sure. The old hammer and nail. <laughs> Anybody that knows the movie The Money Pit with Tom Hanks would know that joke. I know that movie. I don't know that joke. The Carpenter? Yeah. So that uh, whenever a woman calls for a carpenter, they're really asking for the old hammer and oh, nail. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Dirty. That was um, a good wall. <laughs> that was uh, <laughs> Joe, Joe Montoya, the first carpenter. The guy in the flashy car. Yeah. Yeah. The funny thing is, the guy, the, uh, the guy that was cutting my hair for many years, his name is Joe. Yeah. He almost looks like that guy. <laughs> That's the funny part. <laughs> Moonlighting from criminal minds to cut hair? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Hey. Why not? He's also Fat Tony on the, on the Simpsons. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> now we know more about Joe Montoya. <laughs> then welcome to the official Joe Montoya podcast. Hey. <laughs> We're here to help. We are here to help. So, check out the Money Pit. <laughs> check out the Money Pit. It's an pit. awesome movie. It's one of my favorites. I love the Money Pit. That's a good movie. For, um, years, for many years, I never saw it because I didn't think it. Like just watching the um, trailer, I didn't care, care for it. And then Tad yeah. told me to watch it one day because I got the um, the three pack of Tom Hanks set, mm -hmm. and I watched it. I'm like, oh my god, I love this. <laughs> My new, one of my new favorite Tom Hanks movies. I've been missing out. I'm trying to think if it's my favorite Tom Hanks movie. Uh, Burbs, Dragnet. Yeah. Big. Bi oh damn it! I keep forgetting about Big. That's a. You know what? That's. I watched Big like last year after not seeing it for a very long time. A many moon pies. A many moon pies ago. <laughs> From a distance. Um, <laughs> and it's actually still a decent movie. It is. It's still a decent movie. So, and he can I haven't seen it in a while. And he can still do that little rap that he does in the middle. Oh, he knows that thing by heart. Which I think is hilarious. It's awesome that when that's knows something. Remember something like that. Yeah. And if you meet him and you ask him, oh yeah, I can do that for you. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you this real quick before we hit the, before we hit the mid mark. I, I've gotten into this show called uh, Watch What Happens Live. OK? 
Okay, there's this guy named Andy Cohen. He hosts the show. All right, he's a, he's kind of a funny guy. So he does this thing called plead the fifth. Okay, it's this little game that he likes to play. He he'll ask his. I thought he was on Ellen recently. He might have been. He's been doing the uh, talk show circuit because mm, he's got promoting. he's promoting something. So he what he does is he asks three questions, and the, the his guest can only plead the fifth to one question. Yep, he was on Ellen. Okay, so. In the past week. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to trying to get through. I'm so. So, uh... So, buttons. Yeah, so, anyway, I've been, I've been like, binge-watching some of his clips on YouTube. I got Jay into it. Nice. Jay is like, this is really funny. He had Ron Howard on. Ooh. And he, he said, he did plead the fifth with Ron Howard. The first question was, uh, who was the worst actor you've ever worked with? And Ron said, I'm gonna plead the fifth. <laughs> Which means he's got to answer the other two. Ooh. So the Shouldn't next right away. So the next question was you're on a sinking boat. Who do you save, Joni Ochachi? <laughs> this is obviously before Aaron Richards passed away. So he said Joni. Yeah, he said I'm he goes, "Well, I'm a gentleman. I'm going to save Joni." He's like, "Aaron's really great." He's like, and then he looks at the camera and goes, "Scott, you can swim." <laughs> <laughs> but the last question was what do you? What does Tom Hanks do that really annoys you? Give me something that about Tom Hanks that's annoying. Wow. And Ron looks at is kind of like fudging around. He goes, "Tom's really great. Like he doesn't want to say anything bad." And then he goes, "Actually, he goes, he does an impression of me, and I don't think it's very funny." <laughs> he goes, "Not only is it not very funny, I don't think it's accurate." <laughs> so it was just it was funny because he's like, "Nah." I picture Tom hearing that and just laughing. Oh, I'm sure. They're very tight, so I'm, I'm sure it just went right over. Boom. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. Um, the other thing that he did that I thought was really funny was he had on Ray Liotta, who looks like crap, by the way. I love Ray Liotta. In Goodfellas, he was awesome. Mm -hmm. So he did plead the fifth with um, Ray Liotta, and J-Lo was next to him. So it was kind of like a Ray Liotta, J-Lo thing. And he asked Ray Liotta, uh, who was the most overrated actor in Hollywood? Mm -hmm. And I thought he was going to plead the fifth, because a lot of people don't like to answer those kind of questions. So he looks right at the camera and he goes, Clint Eastwood. <laughs> and I went, no. And, and J-Lo's face was like, oh, shit. <laughs> and then people behind him were like, ooh. And he turns around and he goes, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm like, Ray Liotta does not give shits. I guess not. About calling out Clint Eastwood. <laughs> I was like, okay. Okay. Punk. I wish Ray Liotta would come to Comic-Con. Hey, it's still time. <laughs> I would love... <laughs> I would love... I don't, I don't know if I could meet Ray Liotta, but I'd like to try. He looked chubby and <laughs> and like he was on something. Like, they did a... Uh, they did a close-up of him, and his eyes were just completely glassy and red. Hmm. Now, on the show... They drink like cocktails and stuff. That's so they they try to get the guests drunk so that they'll be <laughs> chatty and say shit. So I'm like, what did they slip Ray Liotta? <laughs> did they give him a quaalude or something? Because his eyes were just red and awful. They put some of that in there. They spiked it. I think he spiked his drink. Ooh. <laughs> what? What? That's right. I said it. But. <laughs> what? There's a little buggy in the room. But I can't control that, Sean. <laughs> I have no control at all. It's going towards me. It's like, oh shit. <laughs> you turn around. Bombardier! <laughs> Bombardier! He saw you and was like, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I could. I would like the option to meet Ray Liotta. I don't know if I could. But Rhode Island, I think Rhode Island has this year surpassed Boston in terms of guest quality. You know, there's a good amount of people um, being put on the Boston one this year. Um, Last year, there was one person I would like to meet, but I, I wasn't going to pay like $50 just to meet him. Who was it you would have met at Boston? Uh, ben guy from Gotham. Oh, Ben McKenzie? Yes. Yeah, I thought... Well, recently, he just got married to Lee. Yeah. The girl that plays Lee. Oh, yeah, the Gotham finale was lit, you guys, if you oh, watch yeah. Gotham. 
That was crazy. Uh, no spoilers, but I didn't see a lot of that stuff. I really think, this is just my opinion. I haven't read anything. I don't know anything extra. Nobody from the cast talked, talk, well, actually, one person from the cast talked to me. But she didn't tell me anything. Um, I really think that because of how the show has been critiqued from the beginning, I really think they're pushing the Bruce becoming Batman angle right now. I'd say so. Because the whole thing has been like, since it debuted, it's gotten like a bad rep because it's like, oh, it's Batman without Batman. <laughs> I mean, it's supposed to be about Jim Gordon. Oh. Right? You that was my would, understanding. You would think it's supposed to be about Bruce. <laughs> well, it's not called Batman. It's called Gotham. Right. <laughs> now, the kid the kid who plays Bruce is going to be at uh, Comic-Con. David. <laughs> <laughs> I, here's my hope. Here's my hope is that with the with the Batman angle push, that maybe he will become slightly more interesting. Cool. Uh, not even cool, just interesting. <laughs> the whole fucking storyline with him has been, and the I've the, been bitching about that for a long time. You you've been on we that. Need to hear you say it first. You've been on that bandwagon since day one. My only thing that I've been okay with is the fact that usually they pair Bruce up with Alfred. Yes. So I <laughs> So I try not to complain too much cuz at least I get me some Alfred. <laughs> and this girl wants some Alfred. I, with his hey, sexy caramel voice. Hey. I want Alfred to stop getting his ass kicked. And stop giving her some sex. <laughs> great voice um but I, I i did see him in person his head is in proportion to his body <laughs> like i don't know how they i was disappointed when i saw him because he was like thinner yeah and he dressed like my dad <laughs> he dressed like the, what he had like a like a like a sweater like shirt on and jeans and little tennis just, shoes just a plain sweatshirt yeah and it's like dark blue jeans he had on skinny jeans let's be yeah. honest let's be honest he had on skinny jeans like a teen. It's just weird. Like, when you see jeans on people, like yeah. some, on some older people, they look like old person jeans compared to old someone. Old person jeans? <laughs> Those dungarees. would be called what, Sean? Dungarees. dungarees. <laughs> and they would say, oh, I like my dungarees. <laughs> no, I don't like your dungarees. I, really, I don't like your jeans either. I really like your dungarees, Yeah, we see him in these cool outfits, uh, <clears throat> Alfred, and then we right. see him in person. He looks like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> my thing was that it's, I don't know, maybe he needed a haircut, but his head looked big. <laughs> I was just like, wow. It was wicked cool to meet him. I'm sure it was. And the fact that uh, his agent or whoever that was that was with him wanted to play a little joke on him. Yeah. me and him have the same first name with the same spelling. Yeah. And he puts a little note on the photograph and... Passes over to him to sign. The note says, sign this to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it took him a minute to figure it out. And so the line can keep moving. And I don't feel like I'm holding everybody up. I had to give give away the joke right, right away. Oh. Like, because we got the same name. <laughs> Derp. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the same name. Plus, you got to sign this one for Tara. Uh, I didn't get one. I already had his. Oh. I already I had one, his. I got one for you for that. That was uh, Robin Lowe Taylor. Oh, yeah. That was that. That one. Yeah. That's staring at us. Yeah. Angrily. Can't, can't smile in your photo, Robin? <laughs> Gotta be... Look at smiling as a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> the... I... I loved the introduction of the Iceberg Lounge. I loved the whole... The whole Penguin Riddler thing back and forth. I think... I love it. Yeah. Oh yeah, awesome. it's so good. It's it's so, and I I actually was on Twitter, actually, actually, and I was talking to the girl who played Ivy, mm -hmm. Maggie, whatever her last name is, Aww. and I, I don't remember. Begins with a G. I don't want to mispronounce Maggie G. It. Maggie G. I don't want to mispr mis be disrespectful and mispronounce it, but Yo G. <laughs> <laughs> M G. <laughs> so she goes, "What did you guys think of the finale?" You know, you guys ready for season four, blah, blah, blah. 
So I was like, I thought the finale was great. Um, I really actually liked... Actually. Actually. Really actually liked the Penguin-Ivy pairing. Mm -hmm. I thought they worked really well together, and it showed on screen, and their chemistry was really good. So she was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> and we had, like, a quick ex exchange. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> then she told me about this little chat, and I'm, like, texting her back, saying, oh, come on, text her back, get her on the show. Get her on the show. <laughs> yeah. Tell her about the show. Tell her about the show. I should have done it in, um... Under, under the shows, <laughs> the false pretenses. I work under false pretenses. I should have done it under the show Twitter handle, which I actually just actually actually I actually did something. I don't know. I somebody commented. I, I did something goofy on the Twitter this morning, so go check that out. The Twitter at uh, just saying pod. There you go. Pod. Yeah. <laughs> But I really liked, I also liked the, the, um, the Penguin Riddler thing. I'm thinking they need to give uh, the Riddler, a.k.a. Corey Michael Smith, some time because he's starting to do movies and stuff now. Mm -hmm. um, he was in the, he's in the middle of like filming something. So he's lightening up on his Comic-Con appearances and uh, working on some films. But not David. <laughs> I know, Sean is so disenchanted. He's like, David. He'll be there. Somebody will want to meet him. <laughs> he'll have a line. I guarantee he'll have a line. There he is. He'll have a line of people who want to meet him. Wow, that's what he looks like now. I'm not looking at David. I'm looking at the, the guy who played Data in Goonies. Oh, yeah. The guy from Goonies. Goonies! is going to be... <laughs> uh, at the Comic Con as well. There's that was. Um, there's also not a short round in the Indiana Jones movies. Yes, yes. You know, it would have been cool if they got, if they did like a little Goonie reunion, had like yeah. more of the cast. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the guy? Who's the guy who played the big, the big brother? Is that jo uh, Brolin? Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin. Now they're prepping him for. <clears throat> Oh, De the Deadpool thing. Oh. The Deadpool sequel. Nice. Um, he's going to be Cable, I believe. And he was also uh, Thanos in the, the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe. Oh. And will probably have a big role in the upcoming Infinity Wars. So, I saw him. there's my Marvel <laughs> shit out of the way. I saw him a few years back in some... Uh... Some cop movie. I forget the name of it. It's got Gangster in it. Oh, Gangster Squad? Yes. Yeah! <laughs> oh, you did that like the big show. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> it's the big slow. <laughs> <laughs> the Rock used to so, say when made fun of The Rock should do Comic Cons. Yes. Who else is uh, going to come in the. Rhode Island is going to be lit this year. Yeah. I gotta, you, you and I have got to... I got to gotta... save like four paychecks. To <laughs> Usually there's like three or four people I want to see, and now there's like ten at least right now. Right. So, um, I'm trying to think. They have Steve Gutenberg. Yeah, he's still going. Which, as far as Sean knows, is still going to be there. He's so excited. Oh, no, don't leave me. <laughs> <laughs> My finger pressed down on the on this guy's picture, and he's got to take me to some other page. No! So, um, I'm trying to think. We got Norman Reedus. Norman. The Walking Dead. Oh, the Walking Dead guy. He played Daryl. Oh. He'll be there Saturday and Sunday only. Wasn't he there last year? Was he the guy who was there last year? No, no. it was a different guy. No, it was the guy that um, played Negan. That's it. That poor He's guy. Also in, um, Supernatural. That poor guy. He had way too many people. Yeah, he ended up staying late. He stayed till like seven o'clock at night. That poor guy. And he had he was sick. He had pink eye, giving pink eye to people. Yeah. <laughs> he was. <laughs> that was wicked nice of him to stay though. It was. I'm not trying to take anything away from the guy. That was that was very cool, but. I, I think that the, the Comic-Con itself really fucked up um, 
They didn't handle that well at all. The Luke Cage guy is going to be there. Yep. Michael Coulter. Michael Coulter. I'm if I I kind of I kind of want to like get his autograph. Hmm. He'll be there Saturday and Sunday. I can, well if you if we end up going we have to go on Saturday because that's because yep. goddamn Gutenberg <laughs> can't give us two days. The guy lives in New York. Does he? He does. Because hmm. he's uh, I follow him on Instagram, mm-hmm. and he's if he doesn't live in New York he's there a lot. He loves New York. He might. So, I mean, it's a 45-minute plane ride. Steve, you can't do two days? <laughs> what the hell, Steven? <laughs> <laughs> then you got on Sunday only, you got Dave Batista. <sighs> See, that bothers me. Because, but and I, I just wanted to know that Batista was going to have such a big line because of... Um, no, we're going to miss that. Because of Guardians mm-hmm. of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm sure that there's somebody um, that I I will be acquainted with who will be going on that Sunday. Mm-hmm. Um, be it Joe or um, my friend's uh, dad goes or somebody. I'm gonna I'm gonna find somebody who goes on the Sunday and ask them well, how is the Batista line. Go try to find out in advance and ask them to look for it. <laughs> I know. Well, I d- I'm sure, our friend Joe's gonna be there on Sunday. He might. I don't know. Him? I don't know. I um, I'm kind of sad. After I'm not gonna give anything away. After uh, Guardians of the Galaxy two, um, Michael Rooker did such an amazing job in that movie. Mm-hmm. If he was gonna be at Comic Con this year, I would totally line up and get his autograph, cause he was awesome. I mean, I liked him in I liked him in Clerks. There's my phone. <laughs> I liked him in Clerks. For you, it's a present. <laughs> Is he calling for me to help with the health care bill? Because I could help him with that. I'd be calling you to help run the country. <laughs> I don't know if I could help him with that. That's a big job. Even he know, even he doesn't want to do it. I'm sure we can do a better job. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You never know. We'd at least provide the country with some laughs. Yes. That's, That's what you need. That's the best medicine. That's what you need. <laughs> so, uh, who else is going to be there? Oh, Beverly D'Angelo. From National Lampoon's Vacation. From National Lampoon's Vacation. And Anthony Michael Hall, also from National Lampoon's Vacation. And, and Dana Barrows. Oh, who is that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The sister. Yeah, Audrey. And Anthony Michael Hall was also in 16 Candles. And he was also in what? Breakfast Club. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still torn about which pictures to get of him. Because mm-hmm. all three of them from National Lampoon's Vacation. <coughs> Jesus, it's all me. <clears throat> we'll be there? Yeah. I don't know if I should get one picture that has the whole family and have each of them sign it, or just get individual pictures. Ooh, that is a rough one. Yeah, especially with him. So I wanted a picture of him from, like, Breakfast Club. That would be dope. That would be dope. Keep a candle with your smoke. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Impossible, sir. It's in Johnson's underwear. <laughs> Who who else? Who else we got? Dolph Lundgren. Dolph Lundgren. Mm-hmm. I want to know is he is he two days or one? Uh, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. I want to know what kind of line Dolph Lundgren is gonna have. Well, we'll, we'll see one. <laughs> he was in Rocky Four. He was in The Punisher. Expendables. He Man. The crappy He Man. Yes. <laughs> I'd love to just go up to him and go, you ruined He-Man. <laughs> How do you sleep at night, sir? We liked you as Yvonne in, uh, <laughs> in Rocky IV, but you <clears throat> suck as He-Man. <laughs> you ruined it. Uh, Val Kilmer. Okay. Ruined Batman. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about ruining things, you was a serious Batman. Val Kilmer. Is no Michael Keaton. Is crazy. He couldn't hold Michael Keaton's jock strap. Val Kilmer is crazy. <laughs> no, go back. And he was on tw- he's actually he was on Twitter the other day and he took a photo of himself wearing a Top Gun t shirt. <laughs> and the the Just thing they're gonna, they're gonna do a sequel. They are. And the thing underneath was like, still got it. 
<laughs> and I was like, come on, Val. You don't have it. You lost yeah. it. You never had it. <laughs> you never had it to lose. Had what? <laughs> I don't know, but he apparently he thought he had it. He was like, still got it. I'm like, still got what? Iceman? <laughs> well, the cool thing is that they are having him and Tom Cruise come back. Now, I like it when they have the original people, though. I... That's the credit that I'm giving. Okay, I, I get how it. How do you do Top Gun after all these years? That's what I'm saying. What was that, 84? Around there? I don't know. <laughs> Back in our day. Back in our day. Part two. <laughs> Back in our day, Val Kilmer still sucked. <laughs> I don't, like, I don't know. It's been a long time. And Val Kilmer does not, he did not age well. I, I give it, uh, Tom Cruise might be crazy, but at least he still looks pretty good. Yeah. He's presentable. <laughs> He's presentable. You can tolerate it. I don't find him attractive, but somebody should, probably does. <laughs> somebody will touch his willy. <laughs> <laughs> somebody will line up to unwrap his package. <laughs> sure. I'm sure of it. Zach? <laughs> just looks weird you know what he looks like he looks like somebody who was an addict for 20 years and went to rehab <laughs> he just has this like oh like he just he looks like he was road hot and put up wet <laughs> that's an old that's an old expression <laughs> he looks like he's had better days oh yeah he has so even the magic of cgi is not gonna be able to no. fix Malcolm. <laughs> We should stop talking sh smack about him. A double. Yeah, we should stop because he's crazy enough to... I heard you guys talking shit about me. That wasn't us. <laughs> that wasn't us. We just what? Did a, we just did a Jedi mind trick. You didn't hear anything. <laughs> Maybe I didn't hear anything. It's in the podcast you want to blame. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Sir, are you sure? <laughs> we'll both do it because I don't know which one he'd be happier about. Oh, all right. Yours, probably. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not the big you. <laughs> so, what else we got? Brett the Hitman Hart. Oh. <laughs> all right. Now, I know, like, I don't know if, if you good folk out there. I call you good folk. You're good folk. If you good folk out there. If you good folk, you're fans of ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you good folk are um, familiar with wrestling, wrestling, um, Brett, WWF. Yeah, Bret Hart does not come with the best rep. No. He is kind of an ass. <laughs> A little bit. Well, I heard rumors that he doesn't really like the fans or the people of the USA. <laughs> the fans are people of the USA. <laughs> So that begs the question, why would you do Comic-Con? Yeah. Well, he probably needs money. You think? Maybe. <laughs> you think? Maybe. Who doesn't? Who doesn't need money? That's probably why about five years or so ago, he came back to WWE to be a general manager for a while. He did? Yep. Oh, I haven't watched wrestling in a long time. I barely do, because every time I give it another chance, it still sucks. <laughs> <laughs> every time I walk away. Mm -hmm. Well, that, no, let's walk away from Brad. <laughs> yeah, let's walk. A, we're going to briskly walk across the street. He'll be there all three days. Good for him. If you're interested. Good for him. Who else? Amanda Burris. Yeah, the married with children lady. Marcy Darcy. Marcy Darcy. <laughs> Somebody, um, they announced that on, uh, like, Facebook. And somebody made a quote uh, that said, um, Hey, if you guys could get the guy who played Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I liked all right. I oh, and speaking he, of which, speaking cool. of which, I liked the guy who played Steve over mm -hmm. the guy who played Jefferson, and the guy who played Jefferson's gonna be there. Yep. Ted McGinley. Yep. Also from the uh, Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah, if I meet oh, him, I want I want a picture of him as like uh, Revenge of the Nerds. Stan. And I'm racking my brain to try and think of something else Ted McGinley has done, aside from Revenge of the Nerds and Married with Children. 
I'm gonna see if I can find this picture. Was he? No. <laughs> was he the older brother on the Cunninghams? Not Cunninghams, but Happy Days. He was not the older brother. He was not. But like the last season or two, he was almost like the second main star. So he was on Happy Days. <laughs> yes. Okay. You're, you're on the right path. There. Oh yay! You know what? Right path, wrong street. <laughs> that oh, let's just cut through the backyard make... and we'll make it to the right street. That doesn't make any sense. I don't care. I'm just crazy. Yeah. You know how in the regular seasons it was always Fonzie and then Richie? Yeah. In the last seasons it was Fonzie and him. Well, because Richie, didn't he go to Richie, college yeah. or something? Yeah. Ron Howard would probably be like, I've had enough of this. <laughs> How you can't stay in high school forever. I know. How are people supposed to believe this is still happening? We wouldn't be hanging out. Because the Fonz is still chasing girls in high school. Oh, he's gross. <laughs> My gosh. Uh, we mentioned that David was going to be there. We did. All three days. I think he's the only Gotham guy who's going to be there. So far. Yeah. <laughs> oh, someone needs to tell me <clears throat> why George Went is going to be at Comic-Con. That's random. That is the most random thing. But if I meet him, I want to see if he has got a picture of himself from Gung Ho. Oh, crap! He was in Gung Ho! Yes, he was, and that's what I would want him to sign. <laughs> nice! Now I... it's all right if he's there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can ask him how Michael Keaton is. Yeah. How's Michael Keaton? <laughs> yeah, I mean. They need to get Michael Keaton at Comic-Con. Yes. I bet he'll be at the New York one. Of course. Oh. Good. Although he doesn't leave, he has a ranch in like Montana. He doesn't leave his ranch much. Well, let's go do a podcast from there. <laughs> from Michael Keaton's ranch? Yes. <laughs> recently uh, added, no, recently added one was Judge Reinhold. Yes! Judge Reinhold. I like them so many things, I'd be really puzzled about what I want. Really puzzled? <laughs> what would you, I, I need to know, what, what would you have Judge Reinhold sign? Definitely Billy Hills Cop. Okay. Billy! Maybe vice versa. I, You know, a lot of people shit on vice versa. I thought it was a pretty good movie. I just love it. Moose. <laughs> Moose. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a pretty good movie. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad, you guys. It's not that bad. No. Especially if you're in our generation. And fast, he was in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Yes. Which is where that picture... Is from Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Wearing a pirate hat. Yeah. Because <laughs> he worked at like a convenience store or something. Uh, no, he worked at the convenience store at the end. Was he like a waiter or something? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen Fast Times. Because I'm looking at that and I'm like, I think he was a waiter in that outfit. Yeah, he was. And he got fired. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta move on. From Long John Silver's. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Moving on your from Long, Long John, John Silver's Sil and your Captain. <laughs> I'm trying to think what I would have Judge Reinhold signed if I were to. I, you know what? I'm not so enamored with Judge Reinhold that I wouldn't be okay meeting him. Mm -hmm. I think I could meet Judge Reinhold. Mm -hmm. And if he was an ass, I'd just be like, eh. I don't, I don't think he'd be an ass. Um, for a guy who like just got cool. arrested from TSA, I think he should be a real nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I would tell him, dude, I'm totally well, on your side. That's what you should do. What? Get that, um, mugshot or the No, the picture, picture of him escorted. arrested? Yeah. With the handcuffs? Sign this. Can you sign this? You're a national hero. <laughs> you don't even know you're a hero. You're the hero America needs. <laughs> I'd probably stick with the Beverly Hills Cop picture, though. I'm trying to think One of my favorite now. action films. You know what movie he was in that was actually a pretty decent movie? Actually? Ruthless People. Yeah. You ever see Ruthless People? Long time ago. That, I, I think I, I have it somewhere on DVD. That's a pretty good movie. Hmm. Consider it's, it's a, let's see, it's an all-star stellar cast. It's uh, Judge Reinhold, Bette Midler. From a distance. <laughs> From, oh, I missed the cue! <laughs> I'm glad you grabbed it. Yeah. From a distance. Uh, and uh, Danny DeVito. Mm -hmm. And who was the penguin? I want to say Helen Helen Hunt, mm -hmm. or somebody was his co-conspirator or whatever. But 
I don't remember. She was a blonde chick. That's all I know. It's always in the movie. That's all I can give you. <laughs> Somebody must know. But it actually, that was a that was a pretty good movie. And there's a Billy Joel song in that movie. Ooh, there you go. I'll find the connection somewhere. If it's there, I'll find it, damn it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if I were to have him sign a photo, it would probably be like Beverly Hills Cop. Mm-hmm. Billy! <laughs> and the other one that's going to be there gives 110%. Lou Ferrigno. <sighs> Lou Ferrigno. He's at all of these. He comes like every year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he gives 110%. He does. He does. Um, oh. Kind of want to meet him again. Just get another photo. Just get another photo? Yeah. I met him a long time ago when... Uh, Spooky World was having the celebrities there that sign autographs. He was at Spooky World? Yep. That's why I met him. Hmm. And I was very lucky. Because they had the uh, signing tables mm-hmm. in like this own little, I don't know, like a tent thing. It was pretty long. Yeah? It was almost as long as like a 16-wheeler um, truck. Wow. Um, but mm-hmm. the tables were set up in there. And when I went in there to see him, mm-hmm. nobody was in there. Wow. It was just him and some chick, which I don't know was his girlfriend at the time or could have been his wife. I don't know who. But they, <laughs> they were just sitting there talking to each other. Nice. So I had no lines, nothing. So were, awesome. you, were you able to, like, take your time? Yeah. Oh, so you got to, like, chat with them? Just for a few minutes. Oh, nice. And the autograph was, like, 20 bucks back then. Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys, these autographs are so expensive. I don't know who is setting the prices. I don't know. It's ridiculous. I don't know. I'm going to have to like... dollars here. Val Cameron's like 90 Yeah, I'm going to have to like... I'm going to have to sit and think long and hard about who I would I would want there. I, th- I think I might... Yeah, I think, I think I might get Mike Coulter. I think he's like 30. I think maybe like, 40. Yeah, he's like 40 or 50. Oh, Somewhere around there. 50 is my deal breaker. I'll go as high as 40. I feel like I'm bargaining with him. <laughs> I'll give you 30. Can do I hear 20? How about a handshake? I'll give you five. Piss off. I'll give you five bucks for a high five. <laughs> oh, five dollar high fives. Hey. We should have our own thing at Comic Con. Our autographs would be free. <laughs> you get five dollar high fives. Yeah. High five in the jar. Put it five dollars in the jar. High five. <laughs> high five club. <laughs> now you're in the high five club. Yay. <laughs> There's also Peter Weller, who was Robocop. Peter Weller. The original. He was, he was also, uh, God, I, I'm just distracted now. Peter Weller. Five dollar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on one second. Okay. Add to it. That's right. So... Who else we got? Rob Schneider. Oh, Rob <laughs> Schneider. Oh! Yeah. So, so, I hit the table, sorry. So speaking of, uh, I, I spoke earlier about the, the Watch What Happens Live. He had David Spade on one time. And he said who... He really hates David Spade. I, I like David Spade's stand-up. Mm-hmm. Well, I used to. I haven't heard it in a long time. Back in day. Back in back in my day, David Spade had okay stand up. He's not actually he's actually not like a bad person mm-hmm. to just speak to, because there's a um a podcast that I listened to that had him on as a guest. No, we should have him. And on. <laughs> I would I would talk to David Spade, <laughs> um, and he talked a lot about Chris Farley, because uh, he hadn't really spoken about him In quite a few ever, years. and I mean he just he actually just seems like a genuinely nice person. So, <laughs> Andy Cohen was like, you know, who on SNL is overrated? Like, who do you, who would you like throw off the show, or whatever? And he paused for a minute and he's like, Rob Schneider. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, thank you. Oh, you know what it was? You know how um, it was an SNL. You know, how, like uh, Adam Sandler uses the same four people in every movie. At least. Yeah, that's what the question was. It was like, who out of Adam Sandler's camp 
is like, <laughs> would you get rid of? And he's like, Rob Schneider. <laughs> <laughs> he's not funny, you guys. He's had his day. He was, he was tolerable, a little bit on SNL. But even, like, the copy mm -hmm. thing, that mm -hmm. copy skit, like, making copy, like, even <laughs> that kind of, after, like, ten minutes, you were like, dude, just shut up. Just shut up. And I didn't really watch the Deuce Bigelow bullshit, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry. I don't think Rob Schneider's funny. No. It's just not my life. Mm, no, I don't mm. agree with that. Mm. Mm, no. <laughs> I'm going to blow up the earth. We'll make sure he's on it, though. <laughs> Everybody else get off and leave Rob on there. <laughs> so Rob Schneider, who I'll walk right past and ignore. Sting. Sting. Not the singer. The wrestler. <laughs> the wrestler. I'm going to go up to him and be like, dude, I love Fields of Gold. <laughs> Did you find it difficult going solo after leaving the police? <laughs> Did they arrest you? <laughs> Just to see what he would say. I, I couldn't be the first person who's ever done that to him. And Sting's only going to be there on Saturday. Um, I, I have no interest in Sting. I never cared. My nephew used to really like him. Mm. Um, I don't know. He kind of adopted, like, that crow persona. Yeah. With the coat and the thing, and he'd come Ripping down with the, the thing. Yeah. What's up with that? <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> You're not the crow. Get out of here. Piss off. Find another one. You're not the crow. You're a pigeon. <laughs> Beat it. Squab. Squab. <laughs> or baby pigeon. Oh, baby me. <laughs> the Gutenberg. Of course, you. I know you're going to have him sign a police academy. Mm -hmm. Something. Mahoney, Mahoney. I want to, you know what, I don't know. I would love to uh, just be like, Steve, I don't want you to sign anything, but I just want to know, I just want you to know that Bad Medicine was a good movie. <laughs> and I don't think enough people saw it. Then you ask question, you wouldn't happen to have a copy of it. Right? <laughs> Do you know where I can <laughs> obtain a copy of Bad Medicine? Besides eBay? Because I would love to. Here's the thing, it's just, okay. I still have one on watch for you on my, Do you? On my eBay. Here's, here's the deal with that. It's that... You know those those movies or TV shows or what have you from, you know, not your... It wouldn't be my childhood. I guess it would be my teens uh, when I saw it. Back in your day. Back in my day. <laughs> um, and, and you kind of... You see it again when you're older and you go, yeah, this didn't hold up or this really sucks. I can't believe I like this. Mm -hmm. it, looked one, it looked good one way when you were yeah. little. Yeah. And when you're older and you realize, what the fuck was I watching? Was <laughs> so, I something? <laughs> what drugs was I in? Was I in Pop Rocks when I tried to watch this? <laughs> so, Maybe. so my fear is, is just that, like, I don't want to spend, you know, between 15 and $30 for a DVD if I, if I don't know that I like it. Mm -hmm. Like, if I watch it again and it's like, this movie sucks. <laughs> like, what am I going to do? <clears throat> and I want to ask Steve Gutenberg why he's not going to be in the Short Circuit reboot. Yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> he said that almost like a British guy. <laughs> You're like, yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Actually, he's more like a Connecticut person. <laughs> yes, Muffy, what's up with that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so is that it for Comic Con? Yeah, the one next to him was that uh, Ted McGinley guy from Mary Ted Philly. McGinley, who we already talked about. Ted McGinley. <clears throat> I don't need to meet Ted McGinley. There's five Bad Madison DVDs on eBay right now. Yeah, well, why don't you tell everybody so everybody can get one and outbid me? Well, let's see. <laughs> you want to pay twenty nine eighty eight? I do one. not. Uh, 2404 or 2699. No. Then go right ahead. Too rich for my blood. A lot well, for freaking DVDs because it's got Steve Gutenberg in it. And oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Time well, out. yeah. T t hold on there. Time out. Hold up. Hold wait. up. My, 
just because it has Steve Gutenberg in it, how big is Steve Gutenberg's star power <laughs> that he can push thirty dollars for a DVD? Oh, he's not I'm, doing it. I'm thinking no. Well, no. I mean, just. What year was this movie? Oh wait. Eighty-eight. Eighty-five. Eighty-five. I just saw it right Sorry. There Dude, that means that. That's why. Okay, so People I was. Because movies from that time, they can put these type of prices on it. <laughs> so I was 10 years old when it was in theater. <laughs> I know I saw it on HBO, so we'll, we'll say another two years. So I was about 12. So 12 year old me really liked this movie. <laughs> and I'm afraid that not 12 me will not. Hmm. So. I'll have to check something for you then. Really? I'll have to go into my Netflix account, and look it up, <laughs> and I'll see if they have that as a DVD. Oh! And I can get it from Netflix. Or not. Okay. And you can watch it. Oh yeah. Then I mean. And if oh. you really like it, then we can get um, try to wait. And then yeah, then I'll know. For you. Then I can be like, okay, this is totally worth the money. <laughs> this movie's balls. I I think Curtis Armstrong is in it. Ooh, booger. I think. I'm not 100%. I feel like he is. Because you know in those movies they always have to have like the goofy, ugly sidekick. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was a goofy sidekick in everything. Risky business and... Um, Booger. Booger. <laughs> Revenge of the Nerds. And uh, Summer... Uh, Among One Crazy Summer. Hack hack. Hack hack. Which <laughs> took me, oh, I don't know, 30 years to figure out that they named him after Nantucket. <laughs> that ACK is the abbreviation for Nantucket? I never knew that. And I I live in Massachusetts. I didn't know that. See, that's one of the reasons why you got to listen to our show. <laughs> you learn stuff. So, yeah. You have lots of laughs and you learn shit. So, ACK ACK was named after Nantucket. I've never been to Nantucket, actually. Uh, Every year, I'm like, I'm going to go to Nantucket. Fuck it. <laughs> Tears in the bucket? Fuck it. I'm going to Nantucket. <laughs> We have rhymed way too much <laughs> in this show tonight. Yes, it's too much. <laughs> it's way too much. So, yeah. That actually, One Crazy Summer is another good movie. Yeah, it is. Um, who's the Murray in that? Is it Joel? Yes. <laughs> I like how <laughs> robotic it is. Yes. It's Joel. <laughs> Well, because there's Joel, there's John, there's Brian Doyle, and obviously Bill. And there's actually other brothers who didn't act. Mm. There are nine wow. total Murray kids. Damn. Yeah. <clears throat> I follow Joel on social well, media. What you? I know. <laughs> I follow him on social media, and he's actually gotten into, um, like, improv comedy. Mm. And was touring with the... Um, uh, What's that improv comedy show on CW? Uh, what? Whose, Whose line, line is it, it anyway? Yeah. He was touring with Whose Line People. But why isn't he on the show? Because it's back on the air now. New season. I don't know. He was touring with... Uh, it would have like Ryan Stiles and... He rules. I feel like Colin <laughs> and then Brad Sherwood, I think. Yeah. Colin and Brad, they do a uh, tour around together. Yeah. Tab and I saw them a few, uh, a few years ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he was doing little tours with them. I was nice. like, oh, Joel Murray. You want great One Crazy Summer? I gotta get that on DVD. You don't have One Crazy Summer on DVD? Surprisingly, no. Oh, come on, Sean. What is happening? <laughs> the movie stopped closed. I couldn't go back and get it. Then was... after that, I forgot all about it. And... You know what? I was so sad about that the other day that I was online trying to find like a store that was like it. Mm -hmm. There are no stores like Movie Stop. Of course not. It's very sad. They're all closing. They are. The only place you could possibly find it right now would be like FYE or something. I don't like those big chain type stores like FYE. Boy, you're and like something happened with Best Buy where they, in the past, like, I don't know, five years, they've just been like, the yeah, yeah it just shrunk. Now it's like one aisle. Pretty much. Yeah. It sucks. Because <laughs> people like us don't really want to move on with the technology and the streaming and all that. We want to own it. We don't want to have it streamed well, and 
stashed on a DVR box or whatever that's uh, possibly going to burn out or something because of the storm. <laughs> I've actually, I've bought a couple of things off like Amazon, my Amazon app, we should Amazon go, Prime. We should look for like a brand new VCR. <laughs> <laughs> you mock, dude. I have VHS tapes. Oh, I do too. I got a few boxes of them downstairs. Yeah, I got a case in the basement. Ooh, some good prices here. <laughs> but, um, it, it, like, I, I don't mind. Like, because on the Amazon Prime, Whoa. I feel like I'm doing a plug. I'm not doing a plug for Amazon Prime, but I'm just telling you. Um, oh, they pay us, Will. <laughs> well, yeah, Amazon wants <laughs> to pay me, absolutely. But We're willing to do it. I have, I have, like, bought stuff, like, streaming. So, but, I mean, like, I'd rather, if I have a choice, I'd rather have the physical <laughs> thing in my hand. I love how some of these people put up an item. Yeah. And they say it's rare. Yeah. But yet, uh, let's see, I'm looking at the one crazy summer list. Yeah. 53 results. <laughs> it's really rare, huh? It can't be that rare. 53 <laughs> people are selling it. Mm-hmm. So. That's why I giggled. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the giggle randomly happened. Someone's selling one copy for 150 bucks. Get the front door! Why did bell ring? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was trying not to swear. Yeah, I know. That's insane. And they still want ten dollars for shipping. Oh, shame on you! <laughs> shame on you! Oh, it says well, it says DVD, Blu-ray, but I don't what? know what it really is. Either way, they want one hundred forty-nine ninety-nine or best offer, yeah. which means they probably want one hundred forty-eight ninety-nine. <laughs> and they still want ten dollars and fifty-one cents to ship it. Oh, get out of here! No way. Way. No way. Way. Their username is Lunchbox Amp Man. <laughs> okay. I'm finding fault with that right now. Lunch. Lunchbox. Box. Come here, Lunchbox. Oh, shit. What? Wait. Oh, this one's an animation cell. It's pretty much like a oh. photo from the, from the film. Oh, okay. Well... It is that time. Oh, yeah. I know. It went quick. It always does. It does. <laughs> Sucks. Sorry. <laughs> so, I already plugged the Twitter. Uh, check us out on Instagram. Uh, hello to everybody. Uh, any, anybody who joined us from the Instagram. Hello. <clears throat> we are hashtag just saying podcast on Instagram. Damn straight, uh, Last week, uh, this whole week, I was posting up... We were posting up um, stuff. Because in the last episode, we talked about stores that closed that we liked. And so I was posting up pic uh, pictures of all the, the closed stores. And people were like, I miss Child World 2! <laughs> like, it, it really you. sparked something with people. I was getting comments. That and, was the toy store right then. And messages. Well, this one person said that Child World, they went to Child World to get Atari. And the salesperson said, what do you want Atari for? Because Nintendo had just come out. Woo. So they were like, you need to buy this instead. <laughs> so this this kid uh, had Nintendo. was a first, one, like one of the first person in his friend's circle to have Nintendo. And then he was everybody's and it was, friend. Yeah, right <laughs> I'm guessing. Until Christmas came. I'm guessing his house was the house you get Nintendo and Rice Krispie squares and shit. <laughs> so uh, the people had fun with that. So uh, we're also on Facebook. You can join us on Facebook. You can listen to the podcast on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher. Watch the video stream on YouTube. We yes. also have uh, location videos up there. Which we will be doing soon. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta post a new one. <laughs> I gotta post a new one. We got a couple new ones uh, left to go. So I'll be posting that. Check those out. I think I plugged everything. So now I get to shut up. Tara gets to shut up. Sean gets to tell you something. Oh, I love telling him stuff. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Everybody, have a good everything. Comic Con's gonna be expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I need money. Help me. Cash your cans. <laughs> Come on, cash. <laughs> Can't shut it off. <laughs>